Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, last video I did was the planting of the uh, corn and milo that hopefully you've seen. So uh, that all came up uh, a few weeks ago and when we got three fourths of an inch of rain on it. So uh, corn's jumped up, it's about five inches tall now. The milo's uh, probably a little over an inch tall or so. So uh, it's time to cultivate, getting a little bit of crop grass coming in after the rain, uh, a little bit of verbena uh, here and there. So uh, we've got the Farm All A here out with the uh, one row cultivators and uh, do a quick video on cultivating. So let me tell you a little bit about my setup here. This is a 1941 Farm All A. Uh, I picked this up from a friend and co-worker. His father had, after he had retired, collected uh, all sorts of uh, tractors and equipment. And then after he passed, uh, they just sat around a lot of them outside a few of them a few lucky ones inside of a small barn so uh, I picked this up from from him and this luckily was one that was uh, in the barn and it hadn't run for many many years but the engine was free and the gas tank was clean and so I uh, brought it home and tuned it up and uh, and she's cranked right up and ran, so uh, so good. Changed all the fluids and everything. Um, when I got it, it had these cultivators on it, and it also had a Woods L59 belly mower, which I used it to mow with for two to three years. Uh, and then finally, I swapped out the, took the belly mower off and put the cultivators on. These are um, A136 cultivators for the Farmall A. They're also called. Uh, referred to as the pipe gang cultivators because the the gangs are a hollow pipe uh, and they have the spring shanks which are fine if, uh, if you have rocks but uh, the downside on these things is that they have so many pivot points on them is that when they get war they do this you know they they wobble all over the place my dad would call it hoodly vitey uh, so we Back in the day, we actually preferred the solid shanks because we don't have uh, rocks in this area. Uh, and then here's the here's the rears that just follow up the uh, uh, the rear tires. And being an A, and I say A, regardless of what the decal says, this this hood obviously came off of a, a Super A, but it's an A. The difference is that the Super A would have had hydraulics, whereas the A did not. So it's it's uh, it's uh, Armstrong. Totally Armstrong lift, which is not really bad. You can, uh, you've got the springs that you can adjust to uh, make it, you know, almost a neutral balance point. So, uh, so it, it works fairly easily. And uh, I got a little, little chalk mark there where kind of my reference point to where I'd like to run it, just from the experience of using it the last couple years. Um, and yeah, I know she looks rough, but. Uh, she actually runs well. Uh, I think the engine had been rebuilt at one point. The only reason I say that is because on the oil pan here, it's got a number of dents, but the dents are from the inside out. So I think there was a, an engine failure there where something was clanking up against the oil pan and dented it outwards, and then the engine was rebuilt. Uh, she runs good oil pressure, doesn't smoke, and I think has every bit of the 15 horsepower that uh, she's supposed to have so uh, very useful little tractor she is very hard to get up get off onto and off of uh, so uh, I made this little step right here which uh, helps get up on the step on the tire and then crawl over into it so anyway that's uh, about enough yakking I think we need to do some cultivating
well that does it for first time cultivating uh, next video will probably be second cultivating it's either going to be with a Lillison cultivator rolling cultivator or we'll come in with a 200 uh, with a conventional cultivator like this with uh, side dressing uh, knives on it and, and shoot a little more fertilizer to that corn so that's the plan the timing is uh, just dependent on the weather and and the growth of the corn and the and the milo um, so I hope you enjoyed it and uh, see you next time